What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review that I've got for you is a newish film. Um, man, is it okay? I don't know. Let's talk about it. I'm talking about the 2014 release of Devil's Do. Now, this came out, like I said, 2014. It is rated R. Runs for about an hour and 29 minutes. If you aren't familiar with this one, let's get you connected. True love cannot escape pure evil. Love story. A young couple's blessed events turns into their worst nightmare in one of the most terrifying horror films ever conceived. After a mysterious night on their honeymoon, Zach and Samantha McCall find themselves dealing with an earlier-than-planned pregnancy. While recording everything on video for posterity, Zach notices odd behavior in his wife, which they initially attribute to nerves, although it soon becomes evident that the disturbing changes to Samantha's body and mind have much more sinister origin. <laughs> so, yes, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a documentary style. I do like that. Um, I definitely dig that because it makes it feel so much more real and kind of gives it a cool vibe. I'm a sucker for like Blair Witch Project and those type of things. But um, honestly, it's not a bad film, um, There, but there's nothing too original about it. But it is solid. The story's pretty good. Um, it was co-directed by uh, Matt, uh, oh shoot, Matt Bettelini, I believe is the gentleman's name, um, <clears throat> He and uh, Tyler Gillette. They did um, uh, Scream 6. They did the 2022 uh, Scream as well. Um, just, uh, you know, pretty solid directors. Um, oh, Ready or Not and VHS. They also did those, which is kind of cool. It does feature uh, Zach Guilford, who was in The Purge Anarchy. Uh, does a good job. Like I said, it's it, to me, it's cool to watch this because you can see how many occult symbols are hidden throughout the movie. It's almost like Easter eggs just buried everywhere, and I'm super into that. I think that's really, really fun. Um, like I said, it's not a direct, it's not a direct rip, um, but it's pretty close to Rosemary's Baby type feel. Nothing wrong with that. That's a super solid movie. I think they had a seven million dollar budget on this one, though. Um, I guess they spent it all probably just doing it because it was all shot in the Dominican Republic. With all that being said, not a great movie, not a bad movie. Would I watch it again? Maybe. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. What are your thoughts? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about Devil's Due 2014, rated R. If you've seen it, comment below. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I appreciate y'all.